Yes, women who are pregnant can and should receive the vaccine. In terms of uh, pregnancy and COVID-19, there is no question that pregnant women are at greater risk than non-pregnant women from this disease. We have uh, good data from a very large study, over 400,000 women of whom uh, tens of thousands were pregnant, more than 20,000 women were pregnant. That data shows that if you get symptomatic COVID-19 and you're pregnant, you've got a 70% higher risk of uh, dying and you have a significantly higher risk uh, of getting into an ICU. And so I think that this is really important information for pregnant women to understand. There are these theoretical risks that have been raised, none of which have been shown, and there are very real risks from uh, getting the disease that we know. It's not a matter of a theoretical risk. We know that pregnant women uh, are at greater risk of dying and getting really sick if they get COVID-19. So this is the reason why we are uh, recommending that the vaccination be given to, uh, to pregnant women, recently pregnant women, lactating women, that uh, it is safe for them to have it and there are no data that are out there that suggest that this vaccine causes problems in pregnancy. After a discussion with their healthcare provider, and it's important that you have a discussion, that women contemplating pregnancy can have the vaccine. The recommendation is that you can, but that you have a discussion and uh, uh, with your healthcare provider about any theoretical risks that may exist. Again, with the RNA uh, vaccines that we have, there is no evidence to suggest that this causes fetal anomalies or interferes with the ability to get pregnant or any of the uh, treatments. We simply do not have data uh, that suggests this, although our data are limited. We must obviously not uh, suggest that we have incontrovertible data, but we have limited data that suggests that there is no risk. I wanted to protect other people and I wanted to protect myself and my family. And this is the way to do it. I could not uh, be more strong in my recommendation that everybody at Texas Children's get vaccinated. This is the only way we're going to beat this, this scourge. It's not going away soon. This is not something that's just going to vanish uh, overnight. Um, this is something that is going to require each and every one of us to put in our bit to protect other people and to protect ourselves. And so please get vaccinated. What I would say to a colleague hesitant to uh, take this vaccine is, please tell me why. Tell me why you're concerned and let's talk about those concerns. Now there are valid concerns and then there are concerns that are rooted in, in conspiracy theory. Other concerns uh, about the vaccine making uh, people very sick and this sort of thing can be addressed with data. And at the end of the day, we should use science to answer these questions. Um, and I think that most people, once they understand how they can protect their family and they can protect themselves, will take the vaccination. And that's, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to convince people at Texas Children's and in the general public that this vaccine is safe and that it should be done uh, in order to protect everybody.